Okay, hello guys. So this is the Redmi Note 11, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to unlock this phone, flash the custom recovery, and also flash the custom ROM. Okay, in this video, we will using the Pixel S based on Android 12, and it also include a quick review about ROM. Okay, is it quite good enough or not for the ready driver? Okay, all the files and steps i will include it in my blog the link is in the description box okay this rom is quite snappy enough and i like usual it's better than the mu okay so stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, we meet again with Om Bob. This time I have a Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 with the code name is Payson. Okay, and today we're going to try to custom this one using a custom ROM. Okay, <coughs> first thing to do is let's check the existing system. <coughs> let's go to the about one, and you can see it's using the Mu <coughs> 13. Okay, this is the latest one uh, when I'm making this video. The Mu Global 13.0.6. Okay. <clears throat> and it's based on Android 11. Okay. Then this one has, has not been unlocked. You can check right here. Okay. <clears throat> so the first step is we want to unlock the pawn okay, as usual to unlock the pawn you just need to create a new account connected to the account right here open the me unlock tools in your computer and wait for seven days okay i have wait for seven days so now it's the time okay <clears throat> and okay let's turn off the pawn we want to go to the passport mode and in here i already have uh, me unlock tools and i have already logged into the me account okay <clears throat> let's go to the passport mode as usual volume down and the power button okay and plug your usb cable Now we just need to unlock, hit the unlock button right here. And okay, let's hit unlock anyway. This is the step. Okay. First thing you want to do if you want to if you want to root your phone or use custom ROM, unlock your bootloader. <clears throat> okay. Let's wait till it's finished. And after it's finished, it will reboot the pawn and it will format the internal storage. So make sure you have backup all your data. Okay. <clears throat> and after it's finished, I don't want to go to the return screen, so I'll going to press the floma down. It will automatically go to the Facebook again. Okay, then let's open the terminal and let's check the bootloader status. Best boot, space, get for all. Uh, we want to check the product. Okay, this is Spacen. And let's check the bootloader status. And we are we now have an unlock bootloader. Okay, nice. <clears throat> and for the next step is uh, <clears throat> we want to boot to the custom recovery. 
Okay. So in here I already have the files. Okay, the files and instruction I'll provide in my blog. Okay, the link is in the description box. Okay, so let's go to the recovery. Start by boot space boot and we're going to use the some recovery from the D blank nine. Okay, credit to D blank. <clears throat> there you go. Now we are in the custom recovery. Okay. <clears throat> and for the next step is I have to write it in here. Create it, create MFE folder in the your SD card or OT. Okay, you can see right here this is my micro SD. <clears throat> and I already have uh, MFE folder right here. Okay. Copy the MFE zip and custom ROM into the MFE folder. Okay, this is MFE folder and this is our files. Okay. And then what is it? Uh, rename the custom ROM to the ROM zip. Okay, let's rename the file. Let's rename this one. Okay. And now let's place the MFE file. Okay, go to the install and select the MFE file and swipe it. Okay, it's usually after it's finished, it will automatically reboot into the custom recovery again. and it takes time okay so let's wait <clears throat> okay just for your information the redmi note 11 has uh, two version the redmi note 11 with M with nfc the code name is patient and the other one is without nfc the code name is space okay s p a s okay space and basically it's just the same hardware one with nfc and the other is without nfc you can see right here when we are installing the mfe it will also automatically flash the custom rom okay unpacking external rom.zip okay so it, it will take time after it finished, it will reboot into the custom recovery again. Okay. Now it's reboot again to the custom recovery. And for the next step, we need to format the data and wipe some partition. Okay. Yes. Now we'll go to the wipe, select the format data, and type yes. <clears throat> go back again. This time go to the advanced wipe, select the Delphic metadata, uh, and data. Okay, metadata, Delphic. Yeah. Okay, there are three items. Okay, swipe it. Uh, seems that we have to put into the Android first and then after that we can go to the custom recovery and flash the images okay so it's done for now select reboot and system okay let's wait <clears throat> I haven't test this custom recovery on the let me not 11 without NFC but it should work okay now it's loading the bit logo is changing from the 
mu to the pixel and for this tutorial you can use this tutorial for any other custom ROM okay this is, this is just a sample the pixel OS and here we go now we are in the Android wizard just hit next next until it goes to the home screen and here we go now we are in the Android home screen okay let's activate the USB debugging <clears throat> go to the settings about one and where is it uh, the build number five times go back system developer option and enable the USB debugging okay we want to go to the custom recovery again because we want to flash images and now we are in the custom recovery let's try to flash the images okay goes to the install goes to the where you <clears throat> save the images okay we're going to use the images 21 at uh, 25.1 and let's swipe it okay so make sure you flash the images after you boot into the android okay it's done now let's hit the reboot system reboot the system okay guys so this is the pixel s under 12 on our redmi note 11 okay so we're going to make a quick review of what's wrong okay is it quite stable enough is if there is any major bug in the spawn or not okay first thing i want to check is the email let's check the email <clears throat> Uh, there is no problem with the card. It's reading the. Okay, there is no problem with me. So it's safe for you guys to flash this from where this custom ROM. Okay, let's check the system. <clears throat> and I think it's quite stable enough, quite snappy. Okay. Let's check all the basic function. First thing I want to do is let's open the map. Okay. And this is my location. So I think there is no problem with the map with the GPS. Okay, this GPS is working. <clears throat> I'm not a gamer so I cannot test the game on this device. Okay. <laughs> and then let's check the camera okay I want to take a picture with the front camera and also a back camera okay after that I will show you the result okay now let's test the let's test the video And now it's. I'm going to record using the back video camera. Okay, well guys, so now I'm recording using the back camera and I will stop this one. Okay, I will show you later the result. Uh, okay, and this is the front camera. Okay, hello guys, now I'm recording using the front camera and let's stop this one. Okay, and let's check the result. <clears throat> okay, this is the result. Quite good enough. Not the best. If you want the best, you can always use the key cam. Okay. Recording using the main camera, and I will stop this one. Okay, guys. So, so that that is the back okay, video recording. Guys, I'm recording using the front camera. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. okay, nice. There is no problem. While we <clears throat> take a picture and also record video, the sound is also decent. Uh, it's not have a problem with sound recording. Okay, 
it's quite loud, loud enough. Okay, so thumbs up for the camera. And let's now test the video playback and sound playback. Okay, let's open YouTube and let's play some video music. Or am in Indonesia. How oh, is it? Uh, intro. Okay. Okay, nice. I think there is no problem with the sound and video playback. And what else we want to check? Uh, okay, Magis is already installed perfectly. You can see right here. And let's open the root checker just for fun. <coughs> Seven is rooted at 112, and you can see now there is incoming calls or the SIM card is working. And you can see right here we're using the Wi Fi, so the Wi Fi is working, the SIM card also working. Okay, what else? Don't know. <laughs> okay, just review a basic function of the phone. Okay, the GPS is working. The camera is working for taking picture and video recording. The sound and <clears throat> video playback is working correctly. Okay, so I think this ROM is quite decent enough. It's quite fast and quite snappy. Okay, but don't expect it too much because this is an early custom ROM. A bug is expected from this wrong okay that's all guys and i hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and i also have a lots video about routing custom rom and lots of fun okay especially xiaomi samsung realme asus and other stuff okay uh you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you Okay, guys, if you subscribe, it will make me excited to make a new video. And that's all. Stay safe, stay safe, stay healthy, and wassalamualaikum.